Happy Friday everyone. This video is from a couple weeks ago and my wife and I were able to take our first two-up ride on my R1150 GS. I purchased the bike last November and uh, only had it for a week before it snowed. I spent most of the winter working on the bike. I changed the oil, changed the air filter, the fuel filter, the spark plugs, did the valves, added on extra lights, did uh, engine guards, and just pretty much got it uh, set up and ready to ride this season. The previous owner didn't do a very good job with maintenance, so I had quite a lot of work to do. The one thing I didn't change was the fork seals. I didn't bother to look at them and they managed to fail last week and started leaking oil all over the floor. They're actually pretty easy to fix once I figured out how to do it and had the right tools. $70 for the parts, $20 for the tools, and I already had the manual. It took me about an hour to do uh, both fork seals and both dust. Much cheaper than the $300 the dealer wanted to do it. My SV, jealous of the BMW, also decided to have a part fail. The fuel tap developed a small tear in it, and it wasn't running correctly because of that. $75, and a week later I had the part, and it was pretty easy to install. It only took me about 20 minutes. There's still no update on my Ural. I'm still waiting for a new final drive unit to be replaced under warranty. Ural says the part's coming from the factory in Russia with no ETA. It's been almost a month now. Since I don't own a car, I'm lucky enough to be able to afford more than one bike, so I have some transportation when one of them isn't working correctly. I've been using my Yamaha a lot, and also my Kimco Super 9, the red one shown in the picture here. I put a small top case on it, and that's been working great to haul extra things around. This little stretch here is one of my favorite parts of road on my commute to work. It's on Lake Como in St. Paul. I'm really loving the BMW suspension. That railroad crossing was really rough right there. This picture is from two days ago. Winter just does not want to give up in Minnesota this year. This stretch of road here is Lake Phelan in St. Paul. It's also one of my favorite roads to commute on. For me, motorcycling is about the time between point A and point B, so I frequently don't take a direct road to or from work. I usually try to find something scenic and fun. Sorry for the ugly stock windshield. It's been bugging me as it's making a lot of noise and buffeting my helmet. I tried to buy a new one. I'm from California Science, but I didn't like it, so right now I'm running naked with no windshield. Still working out in a solution to figure out something that'll work for more long distances this summer. The rest of my free time has been tied up studying for the Motorcycle Safety Foundation's Rider Coach program, which starts for me in three weeks. The course is 10 days, and it's over the last three weekends in May. At the end of the course, I should be able to teach the MSF basic rider course, as well as the license test in Minnesota. I'm quite excited for the opportunity, since they only offer the rider course program once every other year in Minnesota. Thanks for watching and hope you have a good weekend.